Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today is the day I'm sharing my much requested no bake Oreo cheesecake. I'm gonna start things off with a chocolate Oreo crust. I'm going to make a really light and fluffy no bake Oreo cheesecake filling. Top that off with whipped cream, chocolate, and of course more Oreos. This epic creation is perfect for a special occasion such as a birthday or any time if you're just obsessed with Oreos. They're so good and this cake is simply delicious. Let me show you how to make it. I'm going to start things off with my chocolate crust. I'm going to place about 20 Oreo cookies into a food processor and pulse the cookies into fine crumbs. And to bring all the crumbs together, I'm going to pour in a quarter cup of melted butter, then pulse again until the crumbs are coated. Empty the cookie crumbs into a nine inch spring form pan, and then use the back of your hand, a large spoon or a potato crusher, and press the crumbs into the bottom of the pan to form an even and firm crust. I've set aside my crust and now onto the cheesecake filling. I've softened three eight ounce breaks, so 24 ounces total of cream cheese. And to that, I'm going to add one cup of white granulated sugar and use my hand mixer to cream this together. Then add in half a cup of sweetened condensed milk, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And mix that all together. Into a separate clean mixing bowl, I'm going to pour in three cups of chilled heavy cream. I wanna make sure it's nice and cold so that it whips up nicely. I'm just going to whip it on high speed until I get stiff peaks. And then to my whipped cream, I'm going to add all of my cream cheese mixture. Just drop it right in. And I'm going to whisk this all together for a few minutes until it again reaches stiff peak stage. Scrape down the sides of the bowl to make sure that everything gets combined. I want my no-bake cheesecake to hold its shape really well, so I'm going to be using four teaspoons or half an ounce of two packets of this unflavored gelatin. To that, I'm going to pour in four tablespoons or a quarter cup of water. Give that a good mix, and then I'm going to take it over to the microwave and heat it for about 30 seconds or until that gelatin is completely dissolved. I'm going to pour the hot gelatin directly into my cheesecake filling, and then give it one more mix for about a minute until it's well combined. And check out this cheesecake filling. It is so creamy and beautiful. It's going to taste so delicious. Now, before I add my cookie crumbs, I'm actually going to uh, place about a third of this cream into a separate bowl. This is going to be our topping and our whipped cream. And onto our cookies. So I placed about 20 Oreo cookies into a large Ziploc bag. You wanna grab either a rolling pin or a meat mallet and we're gonna crush these into little chunks. and then empty all that chocolate goodness into our cheesecake filling and then fold it right in. Pour that filling over the prepared crust. Look at those cookie chunks. They're going to taste so good in this cheesecake. I've transferred my plain cheesecake filling into a pastry bag and today I'm using tip number 9FT. I'm going to add some dollops into the center of the cake. Want nice large ones. And drizzle everything with a little bit of melted chocolate. and add some more Oreo cookies on top. And this beautiful creation is ready to hit the refrigerator. I'm going to let it chill for about three hours. You can even leave it in there overnight, then we'll come back to take it out of the spring form pan and we can dig in and enjoy it. And my cheesecake is all set. I'm going to run a spatula along the edges to release it from the spring form pan. 
And then to move the cake from the pan onto a cake stand, just slide a flat spatula underneath and then gently nudge it onto the stand. And let's cut into this cake to see what it looks like on the inside. And that's all you need for my no-bake Oreo cheesecake. Time to dig in and give this a try. I'm going to get a little bit of that chocolate crust, of course, some of that cheesecake filling. Mmm. Now this is what all Oreo cheesecake should taste like. This filling simply melts in your mouth. It's so fluffy and creamy, velvety smooth, and it's not too sweet. And then with every bite, you get some of those crunchy, chocolatey Oreo cookies absolute heaven. If you love chocolate or Oreos, if you love chocolate and Oreos, this is the cheesecake for you. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video recipe. To get all the ingredients, head down into my video description box and click on my website link where you'll find my recipe. You can also save it to Pinterest from my blog. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.